Hello everybody, welcome back to the Metal Scrap channel. As you can see, it's a beautiful day today, so we could easily melt some metals outside, but yep. Got some Christmas trees again. I will make a uh, short update video uh, Saturday morning uh, if we are uh, completing the uh, collecting of the trees. Just got uh, two fresh eggs from the chickens. They're doing really great. So far, so good. So we're going to uh, melt inside the shed, but uh, yeah, a large open flame is kind of dangerous, I think. Let's put on some light. So we're going to uh, use the two auto electric furnace and melt some copper. So going to set up everything and we'll be back at the melting process. Okay, so we have everything set up. We got our gloves, our tongs, a safety visor, got the metal to melt. And this was the remainder of the uh, two auto tool review. This was uh, what got stuck in the crucible and it gets out really easy. So we're going to remelt this today and might uh, melt the rest of the copper shots and we'll see how much uh, copper bars we can uh, get out of it. Yeah, let's get started. So today I'm, uh, I'll make sure not to overfill it. Hope this is a little bit visible. Got a lot of uh, fine copper grains and the leftover from the previous melt. Got some copper shots left, but those pieces are a little bit too big. Some of them, so I'll have to smash them up in smaller pieces. But in the meanwhile, let's uh, start up the uh, furnace and uh, let us get this copper melting. Here we go. Okay, first update moment, we're 10 minutes into the melt and we're at 25% of the uh, desirable temperature. We're going to look back in another 10 minutes. 20 minutes into the melt and we're just past halfway the desired temperature. Looking great. Nothing particular to see here. Yeah, the color of the copper is getting dark, so it's getting quite hot now. Currently 30 minutes into the melt, 823 degrees Celsius and rising, so I think we uh, reach the desired temperature at minute 40. Nice, let's see. Oh yeah, starting to glow right now. Awesome. 40 minutes into the melt, just reached the 1000 degrees Celsius and still rising. I think we should be there in uh, 5 minutes. And then uh, if the metal has been melted a little bit, let's check. I hope I'm going to burn something now. Ah, this is looking promising. If stuff has been uh, melted, we'll add some more copper. As I don't have my devil forge uh, heating the uh, molds, I just uh, heated the molds at the stove inside. Always make sure to preheat your molds so you don't have a steam explosion. Alright, so we are almost 47 minutes into the melt. Just reached the melting point of copper. 60, 15 degrees to go to the desired temperature. I think this will take a minute or so. So we're uh, at the uh, desired temperature within 50 minutes. So if uh, everything has been melted inside, we're going to add some copper. Let's check. Yeah, you can hear it bubbling. So currently it's uh, melting the metal. Awesome. Going to wait a couple of minutes and then add some uh, more copper. All right, almost 50 minutes into the melt. It's 49 minutes and 30 seconds to be exactly. And we reached the desired temperature. You can hear the clicks from the uh, thermostat. So it will keep uh, around this uh, temperature. Could be a little bit up, could it be a little bit down, but we're uh, well over the melting point of copper. Can hear it bubbling, so I think everything has been melted right now. Let's check. Getting uh, pretty liquid right here. So we're going to add a little bit of metal in a couple of minutes. Oh yeah, it's melting really fast now. Look at this. Awesome. Pure awesomeness.
Alrighty, I think I got that on camera. Hmm, better not uh, put it in too quick. Got a little steam explosion. Hmm, alright, everything is back on the control. Yep, well, that was pretty uh, whew, scary. So adding the metal is quite tricky, uh, I guess. That went much smoother. Man, it was crazy. So putting it in with the channel locks is uh, maybe a smart idea, not just throw it in like I just did. Pretty dangerous. Right, this is the last piece I'm going to add right now, and after that has been totally melded, I will pour at least one ingot, because my ingot shapes are cooling off too, and I am afraid that those will get a little bit moisture again. One steam explosion a day is enough. Alright, last bit before the pour has been added, you can see it's uh, still not totally uh, liquid. We'll uh, wait five minutes, and then we uh, pour the first ingot. We're pretty much there, give it a minute or two, and then we're going to pour. All right, here we go. Alright, so everything has been added. This is the last bit. Not sure we're going to cast now. We'll cast maybe two small bars and a coin. Almost everything has been uh, melded right now. I think uh, we're ready within five minutes. Everything has been uh, melded right now. Awesome. Give it the one minute to uh, get extra heat. And then we're going to melt a small bar and maybe a coin. All right, so we let the uh, cruise ball gradually cool down inside the furnace, turned the machine off, and I made a pretty thick coin, and one and a half finger bar, and one big bar. So let's get them out of the mold and quench them. Okay, now the big trick is to get the stuff out of the mold without touching the working bench. Here comes the coin. Not 
your half finger bar. A complete finger bar. And now the big bar. Alright, so today we don't have a hot water, but we have warm water. So let's see what we made. First the uh, big bar, came up pretty awesome. Nice level out bar, going to shine them up of course. Then a finger bar, also looking pretty awesome. A half finger bar. And finally a pretty fat coin. You can see I uh, over poured it a little bit, but it's okay. I think the logo came up pretty well, so let's shine them up. And I put the uh, stuff in the safe together with the aluminium from uh, last week. So, off camera I just cleaned them. We know how uh, cleaning goes with the wire brush. This is the coin, came up pretty well. It's a little bit of fat coin, as you can see. A little over pour, but no problem, let's weigh up. How much it weighs? 101 grams, yeah, that's a heavy one. So we got a uh, leftover, probably gonna remelt this one day. 134 grams. Then we have the normal sized finger bar. Came up pretty awesome. Really happy with this. This is just the way I like them. 310 grams. Also pretty heavy one. And now the big bar. This came out magnificent. Really, really love these bars. Look at the beautiful ripples. This will probably get over 900 grams. 962 grams. So today's total melt with the two outdoor tool electric furnace will be 1506 grams. Off camera I will stamp the element number and the weight and I will put them in the safe together with the aluminium. And if you want to know how I made the aluminium, check out the video right here. You can see where I made these bars. Alright, I'm going to stamp them and we'll put them in the safe. After that, of course, some end shots. Alright, so we're back at the safe. I just rearranged all the aluminium because it's getting pretty crowded now. In the new shed, I think I'll get all the aluminium bars out and stack them in somewhere inside the shed because this is just uh, getting way too full. So let's stack the uh, newer ingots. <laughs> That's exactly what I meant. It's just way too crowded here. I'll just leave it like that. All right now, on to the copper. Let's see if it fits here. Nope. So, this is it. There was the video. Added some copper to the stack and some aluminium. The total weight of the safe and the copper stack will be in the screen right now. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to see a melting video every week. I thank you for watching and have a great week. See you next week. Bye bye.